Okay guys, this is gonna be a tutorial on how I got this very wavy Kardashian look. Um, I've been wearing quite often lately and I'm using my eyewear glam hair. So let's get started. I started off with six bundles of 30 inch Brazilian straight. I constructed the wig like I usually do. I'll put a link below to um, a video on how I construct all my wigs. They're all the same. So here what I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out exactly where I want the, um, where I want the pretty much the wings, the waves on the side to be. So pretty much you, I say behind the ears where you should start. Usually because I'm using an 80 inch um, silk base closure from that they sent me. Usually if I use a 16 inch, the 16 inch is usually long enough for me to know where to cut. But here, um, as I'm in the camera, okay. Um, here as you see, I'm just pretty much gonna cut down the front. And this pretty much is gonna frame my face so I did a video not too far back where I said you know layers frame your face and that's why I do this this is kind of the same thing but it's a little more in-depth because you're cutting a little more hair off because you're gonna curl it so pretty much at this particular point I'm just cutting and curling cutting and curling cutting and curling um, is what you're gonna see me do a lot of throughout this entire video Pretty much I'm going to continue to cut. I'm cutting like a little bit and I'm using that as my guideline to continue to keep cutting because eventually this is going to end up being kind of like a very blunt cut in a way but it's going to be at an angle. But you don't want to cut too much off at one time because what happens when you do that is that you end up with a very unattractive um, situation that you can't correct. So here I'm pretty much like, okay, I'm judging to see how much more I need to cut off. And then you also have to factor in the fact that you're going to curl it too, so it's going to make it shorter. Um, this is a kind of a trial and error situation. Um, if you're not comfortable with curling your hair or cutting your hair, um, I would actually just prefer you go to somebody with a picture of me or someone else and then have them do it. Because if you do, uh, if you do do this and you do this with some very expensive hair, you're going to pretty much be asked out and you're going to be pissed off that you wasted all your money and you cut a big dent and your beautiful Brazilian straight hair. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to do, um, here. Um, the front is the most important because the front is going to let you know, it's going to, it's the statement of what your hair looks like. Um, the bottom is okay, and you can pretty much do that. This wasn't exactly the same as my other one. Uh, the other one had more layers towards the bottom, but that's because I cut that a different way versus how I cut this one because that hair was already cut when I had the 34 inch. So it was cut a little different. So this one I wanted to go for more of a straighter look, not so voluminous. Um, but it's the same thing. You just cut more layers uh, towards the bottom. So here what I'm doing is I'm taking the part that's already been cut and I'm kind of like thinning it out just a little bit. What this does is it allows you to get like these little but very pretty kind of curls um, right where it kind of folds into the rest of the hair. So it kind of gives you this pretty little you know look or whatever um which is beautiful um and it just kind of helps sell the look that it's beautiful and it's, it's big and it's flowy and you know there's nothing everything is one continuous thing what am i trying to say here yeah pretty much that's what it is so here i'm going to show you what the cut looks like now so it's a basic cut that i've done before guys there's nothing different it's just that i'm going to curl it different than what i usually do so here i'm just pretty much checking what it looks like to make sure that it's even on both sides so here i'm just checking the cut and making sure that everything is where it's supposed to be make sure that everything is nice i just put a little bit of heat protectant in it and i had to go ahead and pluck this part which i never have to do but this one i had to do and i just went ahead and cut the cap from underneath this one as well before i put it on
Okay, so what you're gonna do here is you're gonna over direct the curl in the front and you just make it a regular kind of off base barrel curl. Um, just remember that these curls are gonna, when they fall, because the way you cut it, um, they're gonna fall in a certain way. So that's pretty much what this is uh, here is that I'm just curling, making sure it's warm enough and I'm gonna do this around the entire head. You don't have to do it um, in like the nape of the back you just only have to do it towards the like very bottom of the hair if that makes any sense um, so yeah so that's pretty much what you're gonna do with this whole thing um, this one I have put a lot of hairspray in this hair because I wanted it to hold um, and I had somewhere to go the next day so I definitely didn't want to like have my hair fall at night because I don't like to put flexi rods in this hair it looks much better um not the hair but this style I tried it with flexi rods and it just makes my hair look too tight so this the um the curling iron actually makes it look more natural more voluminous and prettier in my opinion so that's why I put so much hairspray at the top because I was trying to make sure that the closure stayed down because again it was a little bit you'll if you watch my review you'll know what I said I said it was a little puffy and I'm not used to my closures kind of being a little bit thick. And I think it's because of the density. It's the way that it was manufactured. All the hair was put in so close together that it's not really easy for it to lay down. So I got it to lay down as much as I could. But, you know. So that's what I'm doing here in the front. It doesn't have to be perfect by a long shot. Because the only thing you're going to do is brush these out. You just want them to cool and set a certain way. So that when you go ahead and brush them out and you run your fingers through it, they flow a certain way. So in the front, what you're gonna do is you're gonna curl them towards your face. Then when you get towards here to the back, you start curling them away from your face. That way the hair in the front goes, they over direct themselves around your face and then the hair that's behind you, it goes away from your face. So it looks like this big wave when you look at it. So then once you brush it out, it'll look something like this. And then that piece, you'll run your fingers through and it'll do what my hair will do towards the end of the video. Now remember earlier when I told you don't cut too much off because you might have to go back and check something. That's exactly what I did here. So as you can see, this part is too long. So I'm just pretty much going through and I'm just trimming off what is too long and what's going to make. You know, it's not going to look as cute if that's all the way. Because my hair will keep falling in the front if I don't chop this off. So that's pretty much what I'm doing here. And I'm doing it in light layers. That's why it seems like it's taking me forever. Just to make sure that it's one, it's not blunt. Two, it flows right and it lays like it's supposed to. Okay, so here is what, this is what your finished product should look like somewhat. So you see how they pretty much cascade down, but they're, they go away from your face in the front and then they come towards you in the back. That's pretty much what you should get the look of towards the end. Um, and it's not hard. It's very simple. If you are okay with cutting, this should be actually okay because this is a simple version. Then I just simply put it on and I just went back here and this was from today. And I was just recurling my hair because, you know, it didn't want to act right. Hair never does. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys check out my review for this particular hair. This hair is the 30 inch. I have six bundles of Brazilian straight from I Wear Glam Hair. The links will be below for this hair as well as the review. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will talk to y'all later.